Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I am sharing about insights in Microsoft Teams and how we can use insights to get various digital report in Microsoft Teams. Now let's start from Teams first. Here in Teams, you can move to left menu panel and select option more edit apps here here you can see a new app that is inside simply click this now inside app is added in teams if you didn't get here you can simply search inside like this and you can find this app now let's see here here you can see different teams and their digital report active strengths by day missed submission meeting absence here now let's select one team i'll select this team here here you can see digital engagement this week and inactive strengths 26 more than last week track strengths activity you can move through this option to track strengths activity and you can also get other reports here like eight students were inactive last week eight students were inactive for at least three days in december 38 students were absent from at least three meetings last week and 18 students were often late for meeting last week from here you can select this 18 students list and check for the list of students who used to get late in meeting so often by this way from here you can get the list of students who used to get late in your class too and here you can see focus areas here is one message Obiraj Singh spent more time on file activities last week here you can also get reports about files too here you can see assignments here you can see assignment section and 47 missed submissions 13 fewer than last month from here you can get status of assignments no grades yet view grade distribution and train from here you can get more info now let's move to this assignments option check assignment status here you can see simple past tense sa december 3rd 3 pm assigned 15 viewed 9 students viewed and turn in 13 by this way you can get reports of assignments and what students are doing from this report if you click this list you can get the list of students here and you can select who viewed who turned in who returned on time late and multiple here now let's close this and get back here you can see inactive students let's move through this track strength activity here you can see option to select activities like meeting communication files assignments let's select meetings so that we can get report of students attendance of when let's select like today or last month this month last 30 day like this here here you can see attendance report and you can see mark here you can sort by name sort by most active like this or least active by this way now let's sort by name now you can move to info menu to export to excel simply click export to excel and you can move to downloads folder here in downloads folder you can get exported 
file select your file from the list and open it now you can enable editing now let's and it's this cell size to this uh, it will be small and we can add new option total here total so that we can calculate total number of days students will be present in meeting now let's insert formula here or to sum and select sales to add here by this way you can select sales and hit enter here you can see this value in alphabet so you can change to numeric value you can simply select these sales by this way and control f now you can replace b with one so that one means present previously it was represented by b now let's replace all by this way and okay now we can close this and drag this formula to all these trends list by this way here you can get strengths attendance or meeting report similarly you can also get summary of teams assignments conversation grade next assignments communication you can get communication report by this way you can export students attendance in microsoft teams of previous days if you missed to download attendance report you can use this inside report okay thanks for watching my video and don't forget to hit subscribe button and click the bell icon for upcoming videos